this video I'm going to talk about this figure I just finished painting. It's called uh, Gator Jones. He's from the Slug Zombies line of little cute little miniature figures. Uh, I had finished this one up kind of last year, but I did a little more touching up on it and I uh, wanted to show some more pictures off of it. I think this is a little better too than just filming with the camera. Um, this guy was a lot of fun. Uh, he's supposed to be Crocodile Dundee probably, obviously. <laughs> He's got the big old, like, Bowie knife or whatever, and, uh, he's one of the hero characters in the line. There's, in the line, there's kind of, like, zombie characters, and then there's, like, the hunters. And the hunters are painted in, um, I forget what color. They're, they're painted in a different color. The zombies were green, and I think the heroes are pink or, or, uh, flesh-colored. And, uh... This guy was a lot of fun. He, he doesn't have that great of a pose, though. He's just kind of... It's kind of like a standard pose, almost. But the big attraction, I guess, is the big knife. Uh, I had a lot of fun painting his, his hat, though. The, like, cool little bullet... I guess they're bullets. Maybe they're supposed to be, like, teeth, but... Maybe I should go back and look at that and see. <laughs> they kind of look like teeth either way. Um, I didn't paint him in gold. I painted him in kind of, like, a whitish color uh, his, his head doesn't really look like I think Paul Hogan's the guy who played that doesn't sound right something like that something Hogan not Hulk Hogan maybe that's why I'm confused um, and then the picture he looks it looks kind of bit he looks a little yellow but I don't know why it turned out yellow uh, but you, you see the knife is white so I don't know why the he isn't that yellow in real life. And, uh... But I kind of made him a little darker than, than normal, too. Uh, he has, like, a, a jacket on, but... it's It kind of didn't really stand out too much. So I kind of painted the, the section green there, just to give it a little... Break up the color a little bit. Um, but this guy was pretty fun to do. His eyes really stick out. He's really like, kind of bug eyes, so I kind of put a bunch of black wash on his eyes just to make it uh, stick out a lot and what I did on this one for the eyes is uh, kind of some of the other ones I tried to paint the pupil and like the eye but that's really hard to do <laughs> so this one I just kind of painted his uh, like the white around his eye and left the, the middle black and uh, that kind of worked pretty well I did it on the last one of that like punk rock or two and um on the back picture of the of the, this figure you can kind of see the the color is a little more realistic but um for his hair i kind of painted it in a mix of blonde colors too and uh, i did a little so i didn't really want to do much well at first i painted it and then i tried to blend it and i messed that up really badly and uh, it just wasn't working out, so I kind of redid it a little bit, and then I kind of dry brushed on his pants instead of trying to blend it because I wanted it to look all kind of raggedy. But uh, I like how it turned out. It, it kind of looks like dry brushing a, a little bit. Some parts where I took my time more and did it real subtly, it's almost kind of like a, a little smoother. So I'm just working at different things here and. Uh, I like how it turned out though, but I'll do another one of these wrap up videos when I get some more done. I have a few more I, I can talk about right away before I work on the other ones on the bench. Uh, so thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.